What's going on everybody, it's Q from Retro Q Game, and I decided that I'm going to go back and take a quick look and reevaluate something I talked about and one way I viewed stuff and taught stuff a few years ago. Now, you might be wondering what's the point of all this because, well, the project in question is basically dead and it's probably never coming back. I'm going to assume it's never coming back. But at the same time, it led on to other bigger things, which, well... To give you the brief version of it before we go in depth on it, I kind of stand by my original thoughts on it. I, I believed them at the time, and looking back, I still believe that could have possibly been the case, but I was wrong. So that's kind of why I want to talk about this, because it's a big, important topic regarding Microsoft, the future of the Xbox One, which there really is no future of the Xbox One, but going forward with their next console. Now, Let's look at what I was talking about real quick. Two and a half years ago, in January of 2017, there was an official Microsoft announcement that said that the co-developed game from Platinum Games and Microsoft, Scalebound, was officially cancelled after several years of development. Now, okay, games get cancelled all the time, and the big point I was trying to make when I read all this news was, based on everything I had seen, based on everything I had heard, based on the reactions and whatnot, everyone said, the sky is falling, the sky is falling for Microsoft. They said, doom and gloom, end of days, yada yada yada. And my stance on it at the time was, okay, it's obviously a bad thing that Scalebound is cancelled, because that's another game that Microsoft would lose from their arsenal. But at the time, I believed that Microsoft had enough potential money and time. Obviously, they have enough money. But I believed that if they had the right management, they had enough time that they might be able to pull it back and do some stuff and get, well, be competitive, really. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Many games Microsoft still had coming in the future at that point, like, say, New Forza games, Sea of Thieves, Crackdown... State of Decay, etc., all turn out to be pretty much flops. Well, except for Forza, that sells very well every year. But you see my point anyway. The other stuff is kind of just flopped. So yeah, I was wrong in that regard. So it's a, it's a bit of a shame, but it kind of highlights something that happened last year at E3 2018. Because Microsoft came out and announced that they bought a bunch of new studios. Coupled with the extra studios they had just bought before and after E3 as well. It looked like they were doubling down on new games going forward for the future. Now, the big problem with that is, of course, when you buy a studio and you start work on a game, you're probably not going to see, at least if you want a quality game and a quality return, you're probably not going to see a new game come out for two and a half years minimum. Probably looking at three or more, which lends credence to something when you think about it. Microsoft is buying up all these studios, getting up all these games and whatnot in development for two, three, maybe four years from now. What's going to happen in two, three, four years from now? It certainly won't be the Xbox One as their primary platform. It will be the Xbox 2.4. So while I was wrong about them potentially managing their time and resources, studios and whatnot to get these games done and save the Xbox One, it looks like they're going to be doing that with the new Xbox, hopefully at least anyway. I really want to see them be competitive so that Sony just doesn't ruffle stomp everything and run a complete monopoly where they don't have to do anything, offer any incentives, offer any anything really. And the reason I'm making a short video about it now is, well, next month is E3 one of the biggest gaming showcases of the year. That's when most companies will show their big products, possibly even talk about their new consoles, updates on new games, release dates on new games, whatever it is. And Lord knows, ever since 2015, Microsoft have needed new quality games, new quality studios that will make these games. Hopefully they don't repeat their mistake in both hardware, software, design choice, everything. Microsoft, pull it back. Do a 360 2.0, if you will. That's an Xbox 360 2.0, not a 360 degree spin, because then you're just going in the same direction. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. We'll see in a few weeks what they have to up their sleeves to announce. But let me know in the comments section below. How did you feel about the whole scale bound situation? For you, was it doom and gloom for the Xbox One? Or do you think Microsoft are going to pull it back and just basically do the same thing and what I predicted, but for the new Xbox? and have a good, consistent slew of quality games worth buying. Let me know all that in the comments section below. Hit the appropriate button to let me know how I did on the video, and while you're at it, why not head on over and hit the subscribe button and even ring the little notification bell. Granted, getting a notification from YouTube in current year about a new video upload or live stream or whatever is a whole other story. But hey, at least you can say you tried, am I right? 
As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the rest of the videos in my channel.